Hey guys, welcome back to the Struggleville YouTube channel. We're gonna do a little shopping today. We gotta stop at the postal shop, my mailbox, to see what mystery packages we have. I'll maybe open those in front of you guys, see what it is. We gotta go to Sears and Harbor Freight. There's Menards over there, although that's gonna be the last stop probably. And we'll just see what's going on. All right, we got two packages. First one, I have no idea what it is. Return only, not for sales. Express. I have no idea. Let's open it up. Got my little you can see it. Gerber dime. I like this thing, so it's so small. Fits in your pocket without being bulky or a pain in the ass. It's one of the deals I posted a while back. Anyways, I like this thing. All right, let's get this package open. More difficult than I thought to do one-handed. Okay, it's a plain white box, that doesn't help me any. I look smart lighting. Smart LED light bulb. Remote control. Ilux. Huh. There's three of them in there, maybe? It says, happy. Thank you for choosing our products. Blah, 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 blah. Not happy. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Okay. Well, I'm sure I'm supposed to be doing a review on this. I'm going to figure out who exactly sent it. That's my thing is I'll get, I have five pages of emails just from companies who have contacted me about reviewing products and the email address and the subject line of the email almost never says, it just says like, we need a review of these products or something very vague. It doesn't tell you what the product is. So I've had to keep a list matching email addresses to the product that they said they're sending. And uh, let's open this thing up. So anyways, i got to figure out who is Ilux or whatever this is. Well, it looks like a regular ass uh, bulb, don't it? Let's see, I can't read the top of it on the screen RGBW902481 I don't know if any of that means anything it's a 9 watt 9 watt bulb I don't know we'll play with it now this one I think they paid four dollars and ten cents to ship this to me how much does it weigh eight ounces oh man they overpaid eight ounces should not cost four dollars and ten cents they paid Retail! Man. Should have went to like PayPal or something. Paid less. Anyway, okay. So, Sky Leap. Uh, I think by the brand name, I think I know what this is, but I'm not going to guess and be wrong and sound even more stupid than usual, so we're going to open this up. But I think I know what it is. Bam! Tool sorter. Small socket organizer. Quick and easy sorting. Works with any drive size sorting of SAE metric sockets. Doors up to 20 short with 10 deep sockets. Space for ratchet extension adapters. So if you guys remember, I did a video a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago. I'll link it down below if I remember. And it was on a wrench organizer by this same company. Now that one I actually paid for because I found it on Amazon I liked it. Or someone told me about it. Maybe I don't remember the particulars now. But they said that they would send me something. So I thought, hey, if you want to send me something, I'm game. So we'll have to check this thing out. Stop number two, ladies and gentlemen. So I got a pickup of an online purchase I made. And then I have about $30 in points that expire in a day or two. So... We need to use them up so they don't just waste them. Look at that Stanley Fat Max, $22.99, but that looks identical to the DeWalt one I bought. So I don't know who copied who, but um, 
So Stanley owned a wall. We're rough. It's got the same locking mechanism on the side there. Same removable trays with the rubber seal around it. Same buckles. It's the exact same thing. But it was $9.88 at Home Depot around Black Friday. So I've walked up, up, up and down every aisle twice. And I wanted a set of files. I needed some, or I need one at least, the other day. And this is the only set I can find. It's just this little three-piece Evolve set, which I really don't want. That's the only one I can find, so I think I'm going to settle for this extension accessory kit. So it's $29.99. I really don't even need most of it. I kind of like the adapters where you change um, the ratchet size and some of the bigger half inch drives I could use. I have a million of the 3 8s though, so that's kind of a waste. I like the little swivels, but... Universal joint. And I guess that's what I'm gonna go with. All right, so you guys saw I got the extension or drive set, whatever they call it, and that was actually $26 after um, they, there's a 10% off code, plus it was on sale a little bit. I don't, I don't think I actually got a good deal on it, it's just I had to use up the points. Uh, I still have like, I don't know, 30 or more dollars worth of points in my account, but I think it was $24 that were about to expire. Anyways, the ones that are going to expire in a couple of days, they got used up. So what I bought was, or what I was picking up is this 11-piece quarter-inch drive metric set, and I bought three of them. They were $9.99 a piece because the latest deal was uh, you get 100% points back up to $30. So at $9.99 piece and buying all three, that was essentially my $30. And I'm just going to sell them. I've been pretty routinely getting $10.99 plus shipping on quarter-inch drive ratchets. I've probably sold, I don't know, 20 of them or so. So I know I can get that. And right there will be most of my money because really all you got to do is subtract fees. So then these sockets are going to be all listed together. And uh, just guessing, I'm going to say I'm going to list them at $7.99 plus shipping. Uh, this extension I might put either with the ratchet or the sockets because it's not worth selling by itself. Probably the sockets because the ratchet I have so many of them and as long as they're the same part number I can use the same listing. But if I add an extension to it then I screw up the whole listing if the next set I buy doesn't have an extension. So I'll put the extension with the sockets. And just because the extension's there maybe I'll list them for $9.99. It might be enough to push someone over the edge. Anyway, uh, and then the case itself will sell for a couple of dollars and it's light enough the shipping won't be a whole lot but my point is i'm going to get all my money back i'm going to make a little bit plus i'm getting the 30 dollars back in points so you could say that just my time and effort of selling these i'm getting a couple of dollars and that extension or drive set but this is something i kind of actually like selling i can almost consider it more of a hobby than work because i like playing around with the tools and uh listing them and shipping them super easy you just throw them in an envelope essentially padded envelope all right, guys, on to Harbor Freight. Here we are, Harbor Freight. Let's get that parking lot sale ad and uh, see what else we can snag up. I'm not looking to spend money today, so we gotta look for some cheap shit. Oh, this is already starting out good. Found a penny in the parking lot. You know my cheap ass wouldn't pass up a penny. All right, I definitely shouldn't have been in this section because there's way too many things that I'd like to get as supplies to replenish. But okay, so first we got the cotter pin assortment for $4.79. We're gonna go with that. And then we're getting the hitch clip assortment, which there's an inside track load coupon for $4.99. Of course, I'm an inside track load member, so I don't have the coupons on me. I'm gonna ask them at the desk if they can just give me the price. They did that before. I don't know if that's typical, but you'd think they'd be able to. And the other thing I'm getting is the uh, 
self-drilling sheet metal screws. There's also a coupon for those for $6.99. It's the 200 piece. So, and then, as I was just looking down, grabbing my phone, I think I need to buy this funnel tray. It's $2.99. How many times do I dump things out, trying to look, you know, dump it out of a jar, trying to find an in particular screw or bolt, and then it's, this is amazing. I need this. Definitely need this. I've been wanting to get a couple of these chairs for Monica and I. They had a coupon for $19.99. Hopefully it's good for a while. I don't remember if it was in the catalog or if it's in one of the like weekend ones where it's good for like three weeks, but I uh, don't want to deal with it tonight. I gotta find my free item, then I'm ready to get out of here. Let's find it. You'll have to excuse my dog's slobber and stuff on the window. Man, that was the roughest checkout at a Harbor Freight ever. So I didn't have the two Inside Track Club coupons on me for two of those items. So I said, there's coupons for these, but I don't have them on me. Can you guys just scan it? And they said, well, do you have an Inside Track Club membership? And I said, yes. I said, doesn't it show on the screen? And she says, no, it doesn't. Now, I ordered mine online. And I don't think their systems are connected well. But I never got a card. And then she picks up these cards from under the desk and said, well, when you order one, you get this card. And we scan the card to activate it. And you have to have a card. Like, I never got a card. So first question for anyone who else is an Inside Track Club member, did you get a card? And did you do it in store? Did you do it online? Anyway, they made me actually log into my account online. And, of course, I don't get a signal inside the store, so it was a pain in the ass. And show them as I'm logged in that it says I'm an Inside Track Club member on my account. Like, this is fucking ridiculous. I asked, is there any way for me to get a card? And no one had any idea. So that was kind of interesting. I have never had a problem using the Inside Track Club coupons before. I even think I said earlier in the video, the last time I was here, I got an Inside Track Club item. I didn't bring the coupons with me. So I just asked them, can you just scan it? Because I there's an inside track club coupon and they said are you are you a member and i said yes and they said okay and they scanned it they were not a pain at all about it it was crazy this person even had to get the manager I'm like holy shit they're serious about their two dollar discounts all right we're done here let's go to uh, menards made it to menards and i had an epiphany on my way here i have been shitting on Rockford for like, I don't know, 30-something years? Because it's a really shitty, wor you know, it's a, it's a town worthy of being shat on. But here's the thing. I realize it, it does have a positive. Because you can pretty much get away with anything when it comes to, like, traffic offenses. So I grew up in a small town, so when I was a teenager... I was getting pulled over for squealing tires and loud exhaust and doing donuts in the school parking lot. Which, by the way, isn't as stupid as it sounds. It wasn't like right during school or after school. It was at like 2 o'clock in the morning. Anyway, you can get away with that kind of shit around here. You can run red lights and speed. You can treat the shoulder like it's another lane. I'm not going to tell you guys how I came across this epiphany on my way here. <laughs> but they're too busy with, you know, the person that got shot at the mall or, you know, the bank that got robbed. Cops don't care about your red light running ass. They got shit to do. So, hey, there's a silver lining. There's uh, a little bit of clean water in every shitty toilet bowl. <laughs> All right, you guys are going to hate this. I know it. But uh, here's the thing. It's 11% this week at Menard, so technically there's nothing free. Which doesn't mean in actuality that nothing is free. But there was nothing free that I could show you on camera. And there was no other deals I picked up. But I can tease you a little bit. So I bought these items here. Total of, shit, I don't know, what's $389 plus $169? So I'm going to get that amount all back in rebate, and that's what I spent. But because it's 11%, let's see if I can get sneaky with this, I'm also going to get $61.54. So everything I bought was free, 
and I'm going to get an additional $61.54 of profit. Plus, um, the item I bought was about $10, so I have that many uh, items, whatever that equals. It's like 50 or 60 or something, I don't know. Um, to either sell, I don't know if it's good enough to sell on eBay or Amazon. It might just be stuck being a garage sale item, which sucks, because then I have to store it until summertime and then hope it sells in a garage sale. Otherwise, it might just go to Salvation Army or Goodwill. But uh, I can't tell you guys because I only bought half of the stock only because it wouldn't fit in my cart and I didn't want to go get another cart or I bought everything on the shelf and I didn't want to also have to ask someone to get it from Overstock or whatever. I'm hoping they renew the 11% and it goes for another week and then I can come back. But here's the deal. I got to be careful. I can't tell people about deals that I personally want to take advantage of before I get the full opportunity to take said advantage because some person may... Uh, have a burning desire to do my deal and then I don't get to do my deal to the fullest extent and then you know a video that pays me like five dollars <laughs> costs me a hundred dollars worth of free stuff or several hundred dollars worth of free stuff whatever it ends up being um, that just doesn't make sense to do to yourself so sorry not sorry can't tell you exactly what I bought but hey you get a lot of other stuff for free Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give the video a like. Oh, I'm going to get some downloads for this, I'm sure. And subscribe if you're not a subscriber, and we'll have a bunch more videos coming shortly.